faith and her crafty ideas. And uh, I thank you so much for coming and visiting a little bit with me for the next 20, maybe 25 minutes, whatever. And uh, if you're returning to watch, thank you. And uh, if this is your first time to stop by, uh, or if you're returning, please give me a thumbs up on the like button. And um, if this is your first time, I would appreciate it so much if you would hit uh, ring the bell and hit the subscribe button so you'll know when another video is coming up. And I just uh, appreciate so much you just spending a few minutes with me. I love to share my um, crafty things that I do. It's basically, it's cross-stitching. A little bit of sewing. I'm way behind on the sewing. And um, if you can see back there on my desk, I have some mending I need to do. And um, I need to work on a quilt and a soft book. So today, hopefully after I get through here, I'm going to try to put that as one of my top priorities is to get some sewing done today. I haven't done that in a while. But between cross-stitching and sewing and some quilting, I also like to make cards. So I keep myself pretty busy with various things that I like to do. And I love sharing that, what I do with other people. And, and hopefully it will inspire you and uh, whoever watches this to... Uh, Maybe get out and work on some things and do some crafty things. Doesn't have to be any of this, but maybe they'll find their own little craft and go out and enjoy it. And so that's what I'm hoping that it will do. Well, anyways, um, I just wanted to uh, tell you that the, I would appreciate so much if you leave a comment and say, hey, I watched you, or uh, if you have a question about anything, leave that and uh, I appreciate those comments so much that people leave and then also I do have my Instagram working it's at faith underscore slagle um, I believe that's uh, I think I've got that up and going and I'm trying to start adding pictures I'm not very good at it I kind of forget but I'm trying to get better at that so um, please go there and see what you can find about me Anyways, uh, let's see. What have I been up to since uh, the last one, which was at the end of August? It's not been quite a month, so I did better this time. But uh, let's see. What have I been up to? Uh, let's see. Oh, today's the first day of spring. Uh, spring. Sheesh. First day of fall. So I'm hoping our temperatures will start going down a little bit. Uh, it is so hot. It just stays up there in the 90s. And um, today, I think it's supposed to be in the 80s. I'm hoping that it'll, the temperature will go down. And I'm really hoping we get some rain. My husband says there's no rain in the forecast as far as he can see. But I'm hoping that the Lord will bless, uh, bless us with a little bit of rain. The farmers need it so bad. And um, the, you know, our grass needs it too. So I'm just praying that we get a little bit of rain. And um, we did go camping uh, in September over Labor Day weekend. We went camping. That's the first time we've been camping, I think, since sometime in May. So that was really fun. And we're planning on doing that. Uh, we're going to go near the end of October. We're going to go camping again. But anyways, we enjoyed that. So, since the last time I saw you, I've got several things that I can share with you. Some whips and some finishes. And um, if I have a picture of it, I will put it in. I never know for sure if I can't remember if I have a picture of it or not. So, um, it's kind of one of those things whenever my husband starts uploading it and I put the pictures there, it's like, oops, I didn't have a picture of it. So we'll just take it. If there's nothing shows up, then you know there's not a picture there. You'll know I didn't have one, didn't take one on my camera. So anyways, let's get started. Let's see. My end of August, I just have a few days, but here's my September calendar showing everything that I've worked on in September. Uh, trying to keep up with that. And so it's kind of full. And um, my um, whip go chart, I've got that going. And everything in blue I've uh, completed and I've done. 
And this month was do, 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 the February Cottage, which I will show you in a little bit. And um, the 2021, it's taken me forever to do this, my Sal. That was my two things, and I'll show you both of them. So if I get them done, I have, let's see, I've got a bingo over here. And I have a bingo going diagonally. So I think I need to treat myself with something. I'm not sure what. My husband would say I've treated myself several times already, but we'll see. Anyways, that's what I have, but I will tell you which ones are the whip go goes um, as I come to them. So let's start off with what I've worked on. And the first thing I did since the last time I was with you is, and I'll have to stand up, is I worked on my nativity quilt. On this quilt, I worked on that. There it is. It's getting just about done. I think I have to, um, well, I have to do all the, the outside part, but as far as the nativity thing, I'm just about getting it. This time I worked on, let me roll it up here. I worked on the camels. That's what I really focused on was the camels. So I've got to uh, get all the buildings done and finish that lower part. So that's where I'm at right now. So, I was hoping to have that done for Christmas this year, but I don't think it'll, I don't think that's going to happen. So, we'll see. But anyways, that's what I worked on the last couple days after I uh, made my last video on August the 27th. So, that's what I did. So, here we go. The first thing I worked on in September was my... So happy. And here is a picture of it from the last time. And this is where I'm at now. I finished the word so and I started on the happy. I've got the H and the A and I'm on the letter P. So that is where I'm at. I, yeah, let me fold it in half here a little bit so I can show you better. I um, had some blue left over from my, or what is that? Purple, what did I have that left over from? Somehow, oh yes, I had some color left over from this so I jumped over to this letter P and now I'm going back and finishing that. So starting on that letter P. So that's where I'm at. That really goes up pretty quickly. So that's where I'm at at this point. I really can't wait to finish that one. So that's my so happy. So I worked on that one. And then the next thing I worked on was my country bloomers. And I finished all of my Wednesday, my Wednesday bloomers. I finished the thing of flowers. And I think I might have stuck. Yeah, I started on this down here. And I wrote the word up there above for Wednesday. And then I started a little bit on the next pair on Thursdays. So I feel pretty good about that. I love working on this one. It's so bright and vibrant. I love this one. I enjoy when this one comes up for me to work on this one. I really enjoy it. Uh, let's see. Next one, I... <laughs> 
I don't know if I have a beginning start on this one or not. If I do, I'll put it in. But it's my February cottage. My January cottage is being uh, finished up now. I have that at my friend. She does all my finishings for me. And I've got several at her place right now finishing them up for me. And so this is my February. And I don't know if I have a starting for that or not. If I do, I'll put it in. But this was one of my whips. So I, in six days, I got a lot done. So all I need to do at the bottom from here down is repeat the cakes and the vine. So I just have cakes and the vine to go up to the top to finish it. So that's what I'm working on right here, the cake. The cake stand, I believe, is what I've had started there. So I can't wait. I'll won't take them too much to get that one done. Uh, let me see. The picture is kind of small to look at it, but here's what it'll look like when it's done. So that means I've got to, I don't think I have the March one. It means I've got to order the March one because I want to start that. So, that's that one. And then after that, oh, I don't know if I'll ever get completely caught up on this. But here is where I was. And now look at where I am now. This is my temperature chart. And I'm working on the month of July. That's how far behind I am. But look at all the red books. That means if my temperature did not get below 90 any time in July. The darker the red, if you see that really dark one right there and over here, our temperature was 111 those two days. Yes. And the next darker, was it was above 105. So we had a couple days, it was like 106, 107. So, yes. that So far, that whole month is, is in the 90s. I believe, I may be wrong about this, but I believe towards the end of July, there were two days that it got in the 80s. But I love how this looks. Just wish I could get caught up. But it is on, on my, my WIPCO board for six days. So hopefully, when I get on that, maybe I can get caught up. So anyways, that's that. And then after I worked on my temperature chart, I worked on this one. It's called Stitches from the Heart. And it was a freebie, and it's a small one. And I am just about done with it. Here's where I was. And now, look at it. Sorry about my thread hanging down there. So I don't have much left, just a little bit down in here. So I think the next time I pick it up, I might be able to finish it. So I can get this one finished completely, FFO'd by the time February gets around here. So I can put it out. So I love this one. I really enjoy that one. So that one is almost done. Almost. It'll get a check mark beside it. And then after I finish that one, which is now, this is what I'm working on. And this is another whip go one. So I am get to work on it for six days. So we'll see. And it's been two years almost in the well, no, probably not two years. I don't know when I started on it, but I'm way overdue. Is my 2021 um, Sal. And here's where I was when I started. And here I am now. And let me see if I can. All I have left is I have one down here at the bottom and then to fill in this area here. 
So I think I have like maybe five blocks left. And I have one, two. So I've got four more days yet to work on it. So we'll see. But this one here has been a tough block to work on. This one here has been a slow moving. Worked on it last night and it was very slow moving. I love it. It's beautiful, but oh, it's just so slow moving. So that one there is almost done and I will frame that one. That one will be a framed one for me. Okay, so that is where I'm at now. For the rest of the month, after I get that done, I am going to work on a new one. You know, each month I pull out a new one. And I don't have a picture per se of this, a colored picture of it, because uh, it was a freebie. So this is what it will look like. It's called Home Stitch Home. So I'm going to work on that for three days this month. So that's my new one for this month. So I've got it all um, kitted up, ready to go. And it's in one of my Walmart. I like these little bags. I want to make me some more cloth ones and get some more, but those work work really well seven of them for five dollars i really can't beat that i really can't beat that so i'm going to do finish up with the home stitch home and then i will continue working on my john deere for three days two or three days it depends so i'll work on that this month And I probably will pick this up again next month. Now, on the 27th of this month, she will pull, um, Jesse does stuff, will pull two more numbers out. And so what you see in black are things that she I could work on for six days, like my temperature chart, my bats and booze, um, John Deere, my Christmas sow. Uh, let's see what else. Serendipity. So any of those could come up and those could be on my next Whipco board. But meanwhile, even if they don't come up in the month of October, I am planning on working on this new one needs to be worked on again. My hands, my praying hands. I want to continue. I try to work on this every other month. So I really try. I'm really enjoying that one, how it's coming along. I will want to... Um, that goes with that. Oh, yes. Whoa, just a minute. Excuse me. This is my new start for the month of October. Look at that. I don't know if I'll get it done by Christmas, but it's my new start. Can't wait. Anything nativity, when I see it, I have to do it. So that is my new start for the month of October. And then I will also want to... And this could be on my Whipco board, but this will go in my next month because I want to try to finish it is my Christmas sow. 5, 10, 15, 20. I only have one more row left in here. So if it doesn't come up on my Whipco board, I can just about finish this, I think. So I'll probably make sure I work on it in October and November so I can get that done. So that's one that I want to try to finish up before the end of the year. And then 
um, not that one. Uh, I want to, I won't get this done before Halloween this year, but my bats and booze. I want to work on that in October. That won't be done for this year. But I want to work on it. Because I try to I try to work on every each one of them every other month. If I you know, because some I can't work on every month. And then the last one I didn't work on this month is my serendipity. So I really want to work on this one. So hopefully that'll be in my rotation for the month of October. That's what I'm hoping on. But I can't do my October calendar until she pulls the numbers. And I can't guarantee anything except the nativity. I know I will do the nativity. And I know what I want to do, but I can't fill out my October calendar until after the 27th, until she pulls the numbers and then I can fill my board out, fill my calendar out. So that all depends. Now for haul, I don't have much haul at all. Um, but I can't remember if I showed you all this or not, but here's one that is gonna go in next year's rotation. Look at that, I love these tiny towns. She has one for, there's her February one. And she's got a Christmas one. Here's her Christmas one on the back. That I want to get. But I want to get each one of those. And I want to put them on some type of a board that I can swap them in and out. But I just think that is so cute. So I want to do that. That was one of my haul that I want to do. And um, I was thinking I had another haul. I can't think what it would be. It's went right out of my head. Can't think what it is now. But that was the um, one that I had. Excuse me. Um, oh, I know what it is. Duh. You know me and nativity sets. Well... This is not how it's going to be for Christmas, but I had to put it on here so I could show it to you. But look at this little nativity set. Isn't that, there's a little baby right there. And Mary and Joseph. I'm trying to, there we go. And here's some wise men over here. Here's an angel. And I'm assuming, I'm not sure, but I'm going to let this maybe be a sh a, um, a shepherd here. I'm not sure. Their headpieces are all the same. But I'll put it on something little and round. I think I'm going to get my husband to make me just a little round board that I can sit these on. But I thought that was so cute. I like little tiny ones. I'm out of room for anything big, but that was be beautiful, but I just wanted to show that to you. So that's my, probably from now on, I'll be showing you um, different nativity sets that I get. But anyways, uh, and my two cards I'll show you that I have made. This is my new one. This is hot off of the press. I just got this one made. It says autumn. Since today is the first day of fall, I thought I'd show that to you. And this one, I made this one. On, it's not brand new, but I'm getting ready to make some more just like it. And it says, just because. I really like that one to send to friends. So I thought that would be a good one to share with you. So those are my two cards for the day that I thought I would share with you that I like to work on. And I try to work on my cards and 
each day a little bit. Right now I'm working on my Christmas cards. So I try to do at least 10 to 12 Christmas cards every day, get them ready. So by the time it's time to send out Christmas cards, I'll have quite a uh, collection. So that's what I've been working on. Well, anyways, um, thank you for spending time with me. And I hope that uh, you'll share it with your friends. Um, I'd like to get a few more subscribers and um, whatever number I get, I'm just happy and I'm thankful for because I'll just continue sharing my love of crafts and we'll just keep going from here. Anyways, if you want to stay around for my reading, I would really appreciate it. And if not, I hope you have a wonderful day all day long. But our reading today is called Just Us. Precious, sinless Lord, the day you showed me the depth of my sin and my need of your salvation was the most uncomplicated day of my life. It was just us, you and I, as you made me aware of my sins and convinced me of your utter forgiveness. Then the world stepped in. Everyone has an opinion, but I don't want to be convicted by the world, by the church, by those who have read more and lived more, by even my most trusted friends. I want to be convicted by you, as before in my own heart. Remind me again of my total faith in you, my total dependence on you, and the things I need to leave at your feet. Do you have total faith and dependence on God? That's our question for today to ponder. So to you too, so glad you stayed with me. I hope you uh, have a wonderful day all day long. And do some crafty things today. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.